Just quickly before I start the video, I just wanted to mention that I know throughout this video I am not looking at the camera. I am looking at myself on the computer, so my eyeline is a little bit off. And if you are also recording videos, that's probably something just to keep in mind. And also, how good is online learning? As someone who used to have to get up at like 4am to be able to get to the city and travel and be in Melbourne before 8am for a class, being able to wake up like five minutes before my class is so cool. Um, but yeah, back to the video. Hey guys, uh, as you probably know, it was announced this week that students will be going back to online learning across Victoria. Uh, I've been doing online learning since I think March, so today I will be sharing a couple tips on how to improve your online video calls. So today's video I will be doing on my laptop webcam, um, just to show like real life examples of this. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is lighting. Now my camera is pretty sensitive when it comes to light, so if there's too much of it my face is just completely white like how it is there and you just can't see me. Um, other times it's just too dark and it's so black, uh, so I'll give a couple examples of that. So I've just closed all my curtains and doors that let light in. There's still a little bit coming through the side of the curtain there, but as you can see, it is dramatically different and it's really dark and grainy because the camera is trying to compensate for the lack of light. So a way to fix this is to find sources of light. So windows opening up your curtains, um, if you have a desk light or something, I don't have one, but if you did, that would work too. Um, currently my computer is in front of the TV, so I can just turn on the TV and that should give me some, whoa, that'll give me some light. Um, yeah, so now it's off that, that blue screen. It's a little bit better. It's still pretty grainy. Another thing, if you've got like a LED strip light that are pretty popular at the moment, uh, I've got one of those and it's helping a little bit but it's more ambient, so if I change it to red, uh, you just saw that colour shift. Blue, it's quite blue, or purplish. Uh, yeah, green, cyan. That's pretty close to a daylight coming through the camera, but again, it's still not bright enough. Another really important area is sound. So... At the moment, I have a USB mic that is attached to an arm so I can move it around. If your inbuilt computer microphone isn't too good, you can always just use your headphones. They've got a microphone on them, or if you've got a gaming headphones that also has a microphone on them. But I would suggest before you start your calls on Zoom or whatever, you test your audio to make sure people can understand what you are saying. Another tip that I have is cleaning up your space that you're at for these online meetings or online classes. So I'm at my desk at the moment and I always make sure that there is enough room for a notebook and pencil or pen as well as my drink bottle. I don't know about you guys but I tend to feel a little bit more stressed when my workspace is messy. My last tip is to make sure that there isn't anything in the background that you wouldn't want anyone else seeing. Or the opposite, if you wanted to decorate your space up like I have with the 
the pictures in the background just to make it look a bit more interesting then you can do that too you may want to have like your favorite band poster in the background and just like hope that someone else notices it and you start a conversation after the class or the meeting about that sort of stuff um or just anything to add a bit of your personality into you can do or you know a plain wall or whatever is fine too so that's just a couple of tips that I've got on online video calling um so hopefully that was helpful and if you've got any tips leave them in the comments for other people